Welcome to this QuickBooks 2019 tutorial for beginners. My name is Matt Holquist with the QuickBooks University. And in this video, what I want to show you is how to set up class tracking in QuickBooks 2019. Okay. So class tracking is going to be used when you want to report on different divisions within a business. Okay. It could be, uh, you know, a commercial division, a residential division. It could be, you know, any division that you have in your business that you want to report separate income and expenses for, this is when you're going to use class tracking. Now you can use it for other things as well, but in general, this is what you're going to use it for. Okay. And then, so when you do this and when you set this up, this allows you to pull up a profit and loss statement for those different divisions, see what the margins are, see what the income and expenses are. And that way you can make decisions in your business. Okay. So the first thing we need to do is we need to go to the preferences and we're going to go up here to the edit drop down menu and go to preferences. Okay. Uh, you see, you've got a lot of options here on the left and go ahead and click on accounting and then go to company preferences. And you're going to see here there's class. All right. So we already have this checked. Use class tracking and prompt to assign classes. Okay. So when you do use class tracking, I always tell people that uh, turn this on because you want to assign a class to pretty much every transaction that you put into QuickBooks. Okay. If you don't and you try to pull up a profit and loss uh, or a balance sheet by class, you're going to have this column that says, um, unassigned class. Okay. Or, you know, unassigned and it's going to throw off the reports you're trying to look at. Okay. So you want to, uh, click this box here, prompt to assign classes. That way it's going to ask you, and it's just a good reminder to assign a class. Okay. So let me click. Okay. All right. So every transaction now, like if I go to vendors, enter bills, all right, every transaction here, you're going to see a column right here that says class. All right, in this sample company file, we have new construction, remodel, and overhead. All right, so with uh, any divisions that you have, in general, we're also going to have an overhead class. It, you might call it admin, administrative, uh, overhead, whatever you want to call it, but these are expenses or bills or other transactions that you can't really assign to a specific class. They just get allocated to the company overall. Okay. It could be office supplies would go to like an overhead, uh, class. All right. So let's just put in a sample bill. Uh, we'll say that this is, uh, you know, I don't know, Davis business associates. We put in our date. Uh, let's say that we put in the amount say it's $1,576. And we're going to say that these are office supplies. It's a lot of office supplies for one bill, but we're going to go ahead and put that in. And so we would say overhead. All right. So let me hit save and close. One or more items have not been assigned a class. Okay. So this is that prompt that I said to go ahead and check that box, save anyway, or cancel and return to the form. These are zero transactions. All right. What I would suggest is let me go ahead and cancel so I can go back to the transaction. Anytime you have this, if you don't, it's okay if you don't assign a class to it, if it's a zero transaction, but in general, take it out of there. Okay. I'm going to hit control delete for each of these lines. And the reason I take those out of there is because it'll still show a zero transaction in that unassigned column. Okay. It makes things a little bit cleaner. So let me hit save and close. All right. So th that's basically it. I mean, you, you can go up and, uh, you know, any, uh, invoices, let's say. So if we create an invoice, okay, you're going to see, um, a class right here for what you're going to assign this to. Okay. So every transaction in QuickBooks, you want to assign a class. So let me show you what this does. If we go to the reports. Okay. If I go to the report center, let me just go pull this up and you can pull up a profit and loss standard. Uh, let's see, here's one here that's, you know, pre set up profit and loss class. You can set up, you can pull up the profit and loss standard and then do it by class. That's okay as well, but we'll just run the one that is preset to profit and loss by class. Okay. So you're going to see here. So this is, uh, this, the sample company file dates, 2023, 
but you'll see in the classes there is the new construction class so you'll see a, a profit and loss and let me collapse this okay it makes it a little bit easier to read so you'll see new construction um, 182,000 here's the cost to get sold gross profit for new construction was 78,000 uh, for remodel was 190,000 okay you'll see overhead there's not generally going to be any income associated with overhead just expenses and so you'll see all the expenses here now so here's the the column I was talking about with unclassified okay you want to avoid this when you're using class tracking so unfortunately you you want to go into each of these transactions and assign a class to it if you're looking to get an accurate profit and loss by class okay so you would go through and do all that so you can see here now you can pull up this profit and loss by division within your business this is a very very handy tool if you have different areas of your business you want to track okay any questions or comments please leave them below uh, happy to answer some general questions for you for more specific questions that you have on your quickbooks file head over to the quickbooks university sign up to become a member and purchase the training tutorials and i am more than happy to answer all of your personal quickbooks questions the website is qbuniversity.org i look forward to seeing you over there